There's one thing I've always regretted. I think I mentioned it earlier. I never had the luxury of rehearsal. <laughs> All the movies I made and the teleplays of this or that, except for that, you know, I, I hear of the movies and they've had readings and rehearsals with the actors and on many of the films, and we had them at MGM. And except for, as I told you, review productions, where we had to shoot it in three days, yeah, that was, it's the only, and I love that one rehearsal day, because that's, that's where it's with, with the actors. You know? Well, that's your biggest regret. What would you say is your proudest achievement? It's really hard to say, as you, you see, that uh, there's, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of, of uh, feet of film and cans uh, everywhere. And uh, I, I'm proud to say that, uh, you know, that I have, like in music, uh, you call a song that lives the standards. You know, like Stardust is a standard, and, you know, that's the term they use for the longevity. That, uh, well, I directed uh, the movie PT-109 about President Kennedy in 62 and finished it in early, just two months before he was uh, assassinated. And they ran it five times this year. So that's, and it's, it's now 03. That's a long time, and it is a standard. And the Batman movie, of course, uh, they, that's run, I think, six, about six times this year, too. So I have two films that you might call alike standards in, in the music business that uh, well, they're running more than, than I, I guess, any film right now, as it so happens, those two films. So I'm very proud of that achievement. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I'm just, uh, you know, it, it's not an easy business, and I have hundreds of friends and actors and writers and, uh, and, and, and enjoying the time that I have here. Uh, I can't, I can't really say say any more than that. Except, uh, you know, uh, I went to the right place at the right time, and fate took me to two wonderful people who gave me a chance to use the knowledge that I acquired, and and uh, and uh, uh, I uh, I don't take it for granted, and uh, very happy, you know. Uh, uh, 47 years of marriage with my young bride, and uh, who is a, a <laughs> an enigma to me. How someone can like she went to she went to, and this might be interesting. She was at the writers' convention in Maui a year and a half ago, and uh, by the writers uh, and 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 the book publishers and everything were there, and they asked her to interview, to interview uh, ten authors. And she interviewed five authors, five half-hour shows on a Saturday, and five authors on a Sunday. That's ten novels, you know. And I can't remember a time now what I had for breakfast, but can you imagine? Uh, so uh, <laughs> I really, really, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of my storyteller who, uh, who, who could, can do that. And many times now she'll do three or four shows, five shows in a day. And that's, you know, the one thing I respect in there, but as I told you, for the grace of God go I, is the man who fills the blank page. I've respected it. I know that's the original, original creation. You don't need paint or brush. You don't need anything. You just need a pencil and a piece of paper. And, uh, you know, my respect for the word and anyone, and, and again, anyone who can interpret it. But, uh, you know, uh, there are so many things to be, you know, grateful for. That uh, there's, there's more, like our, our wonderful daughter, who who is is we're so close to, and uh, we have a grandson now, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying these years and have my hand in show business. And I've I've often thought that uh, you know I I could go back and. Uh, Make an independent movie, and uh, and then I begin to think, well, I've done it all, and so uh, I'm happy at my age to uh, enjoy it.
I like knocking off those 50 and 60 year old kids up at the tennis court. <laughs> And those silly vain things that, that a man has at my age.